All right, today I'm making a California clock. It's going to be a profile cut clock of the shape of the state of California. Basically 18 inches in length by about 8 inches in width. And then right now it's cutting out the pocket pass for where the movement, the clock movement is going to mount on the back. So then I got to just poke a little hole through there. And then I'll flip it over and run the V car for the uh, 3, 6, 9, and 12 times and then the actual profile cut of the state of California. So uh, should look pretty nice as long as I did the double sided thing right. This is the first double sided project I've done that wasn't a symmetrical object like a circle or a shield. You know where when you flip it over as long as it's centered everything's in the same place. Uh, this is not like that. It was a little bit different. It took me an hour or so to learn how to well, hopefully, figure out how to properly drill a pocket hole on the back for the movement. So, we'll see. This could very well end up in the scrap pile. I'd say probably a 50% chance this ends up being scrapped. But we're gonna roll with it. Alrighty, so I got the packet to pocket done. Um, there's my reference hole for where the actual um, shaft is gonna come through from the movement. Um, so if I did this right, I should have a, a 9, a 3, a 6, and a 12. Um, so hopefully when I turn this sucker on right now, that's where it goes. Let's see how, how it works. You know what? Actually, I'm going to run a little. I'm going to lift it up, change the home position to a higher higher position so that it's not actually touching the material. And then I'll uh, see how it goes. Let's 60 degree. This. Yep, that's it. <laughs> There's my, right there. Can you see the hole? Yep. Six. Nine. Looking good so far. Twelve. Well, I'll be... I'll be. Well, you know what? I think this There we go. I need to lower it a little bit. The wood's a little bit bowed, so I, uh, I'm going a little higher than the top of the material just so that I don't take out too much in these type of areas right there. Get it all down to one level um, height and then I'll reset the home position. So I don't put too much wear and tear on my end mill bit. Okay, I'm gonna let it go around one more time and then I'll turn it back. Okay, 
so y'all saw that knot, right? I was showing you. Um, yeah, when I pushed that through, the threads caught on it and chipped it out. So what I did is I puttied it, and then I just masked off basically as close to I could close as I could get is to a two square inch, um, and I painted it. And so I'm gonna pull the masking tape off. And as long as it looks straight, well, oh, dang it, it, it got underneath my tape. Well, I'll touch it up by hand. Try to sand it off after it dries, just in a straight line right there. And then I'm gonna paint the numbers black. And because uh, I mean, it just looks too good as natural redwood. Watch out, show okay, you. it is done. It's working. So I just painted a little black square in there, like I said, and uh, it doesn't look horrible. I mean, obviously, it would look a lot nicer if it was straight redwood with black letters, but uh, I think it looks fine for my first clock. I'm very pleased with this. It's 18 inches tall. So it's a good sized clock. And uh, sweet. Well, hey, I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, hit that like button, thumb it up, and subscribe. And hope you have a great day. Till my next video, I'm out.